thing you could do if you want to challenge yourself um, is to create a few of your own shapes out of your leftover white scraps. Um, we aren't going to be using pencils, markers, or any other drawing media, but you can certainly draw with your scissors as you cut some shapes out. And we can use the white paper that's sort of left over on the edges of your uh, shape sheet, like all this white paper could be used to create additional shapes if you need a challenge. So maybe I'll make a little, let's make another little organic shape here. And it's nice because then you have a variety of values. You have dark, uh, dark gray, sort of a light, lighter gray and a white. Um, so now we are ready to create, so um, again, we are creating a collage. It's hard to get the whole word in there. <laughs> so, uh, creating now a collage. we will continue on with our collage. Um, this is Miss Bierman, and I'm going to demonstrate putting your collage together. Um, you will need a piece of construction paper. We have a variety of colors. Um, I chose red, and on the back you're going to put your name and your class. And flip that over so your front is just one solid color and you should have your baggie of uh, collage materials from last class. So you're going to take those collage materials out. Mine's going to look a little different than yours because I'm using a small piece of paper. It's about six by nine inches. Your paper is going to be nine by twelve, so it'll be bigger. Um, but the first thing you want to do is just play around with the shapes and see if there are some different ways that you can arrange them. Um, there are some techniques you can use. One is called overlapping. Um, so if I put a shape on top of another shape and then even another shape on top of that and you see that this is white and this is dark gray and that's black and this is called value and contrast Value is all of the shades of gray from white to black, so every shade in between. Um, and contrast is when you have two um, things that are opposite next to each other, like black and white. So that creates what we call a high contrast, which can be really useful in your collage to make things stand out. Continuing on with our collage, um, I was explaining about contrast and how when you have um, like this black on black it's hard to see as soon as you get it behind something of a different value you start to see that contrast so um, it's very helpful to play around with your shapes before you glue them down and you can see 